what's up everybody so today's review is ant-man and the wasp so it takes place before infinity war but after civil war scott lang is on house arrest and because of his actions hank and hope are on the run but when scott starts having visions of janet which is hank's wife and hope's mom they team back up together to find a way to save janet from the quantum realm but while doing that they also have a new villain on their trail named ghost who wants to use their technology for her own personal use now when it comes to sequels, they're never that great. I mean, Thor 2, Iron Man 2, and 3, Avengers 2. So going into this movie, I'm just like, I really hope it's good. But at the same time, I don't want to get my hopes up. And I walked out having a good time. This movie is good. So in this one, Hope is now the Wasp. And honestly, she was a better superhero than Ant-Man. I mean, yo, she is whooping ass from the get-go. And I'm just sitting there thinking like, yo, why is Ant-Man like the, the main hero? It should be called like the Wasp and Ant-Man because she's whooping ass. She's not making the dumb mistakes like he is. I mean, don't get me wrong. Scott is my boy. I love Paul Rudd. But I'm just like, yo, she is so much better than he is. And Paul Rudd is still as enjoyable as he was in the first one. I'm a big Paul Rudd fan. So damn near everything he does and says is just hilarious to me. And he's still awesome in this movie also. Now, we have a few antagonists in this movie, the first one being Ghost. Her power is that she can phase through things like walk through walls, stuff like that, and it looks cool, but her as a villain, eh, she was okay. I didn't find her, I didn't find her threatening, especially after, you know, learning her backstory, and then, you know, the other person that was with her along the ride, I was just like, yeah, I got a feeling that she's not going to be much of a threat, so... You know, can we get, like, a, a better villain that's really going to be a threat? And then we have Sonny, played by Walton Goggins, who's, like, a, a black market dealer and all that. He was not needed in this movie. I, I enjoy Walton Goggins. I love him. I mean, Justified, Vice Principals, he's awesome. But for this movie, he really wasn't needed. But at the same time, no, I mean, there was a lot of funny moments. And then that last big final battle, that free-for-all for Hank's, you know, briefcase lab that he shrinks down... That was just fucking awesome, yo. Like, everybody was going after that one thing. So instead of just having Ghost and Ant-Man, it's Ghost, Ant-Man, Wasp, Sonny and his boys. So that right there actually made that scene awesome. So it seemed like it seems like that's what they were really there for. So, uh, yeah. They were, they were, like, you know, somewhat useless up until the last act. But overall, I enjoyed the movie. I mean, the action was good. The comedy was there. I mean, shout out to Luis, who's like the... The best storyteller of all time. And the only thing I would have changed about this movie was the villain. Like I said, it wasn't bad. She just didn't feel like much of a threat to me. So with that being said, I'm going to say Ant-Man and the Wasp is a dope-ass movie. So Ant-Man and the Wasp, if you've seen it, comment down below. Let me know what you think. And while you're down there, hit that subscribe button. Check out my other videos. And as always, I will see y'all next time. Peace.